Well, there you are again. Charlie Great Podcast. I do this every day. Today, man, I look extra haggard today. <laughs> I need to shave. But uh, my lighting's horrible too. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do a recap of my life in life in Illinois. So I moved from uh, California in February to uh, to Illinois, Central Illinois, small town. Uh, it's kind of a you know you gotta get you gotta get adjusted uh, moving from L.A. to you know small town. Um. Oh, please like, share, subscribe if you want to. Uh, Support the channel. There's information in the description for Zell. <clears throat> so, yeah. Moved to Illinois. Uh, and it's been, I, I mean, for one, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad October's over. I had a rough October. Um, great Halloween. Uh, I had trick-or-treaters. Um, I had a bunch of, I ran out of candy. And these, they were older. They look like they're in their teens or something. And I was like, man, I'm out of, I'm out of candy. And they just went, oh, they, what do you mean? I gave it all the way to the kids. <clears throat> but yeah, October <clears throat> was rough. Sometimes you have like a rough month. My One of my dogs died on the 10th. Simon, Mr. Simon, he died. I had to bury him. I had to di- literally dig a hole and bury him. Um, but he was 18. He lived a long life. And I'd gotten him because a, a roommate had left him in Los Angeles and, uh, I don't know what the hell was going on. And uh, so I adopted him. I had it for six years. Um, what is that? Some days it does that. Some days it doesn't. Um, <laughs> I think it's my camera. But yeah, uh, I mean, uh, October, goodbye. It was it was kind of rough. Um, but yeah, you know, this like like little things. Like yesterday... Like it was raining this morning and misty. Now the sun's out. I can put on like a short sleeve shirt. I mean, uh, yesterday I, I, I you have to go. I got to go get my car weather like winterized. I guess you call it. Um, you know, like antifreeze and check the tires and all. Uh, thank you, big race oil change and tire whatever it's called. But yeah, I uh, moved here. <clears throat> Let me explain why I moved here. I needed a place that I could afford for one. Um, I was going to move to St. Louis, but St. Louis is, uh, well, dangerous and expensive. And then I was going to move to Champaign-Urbana where I went to college and, uh, in Illinois, same thing. It's gotten expensive and, uh, dangerous. And I still live in the town that I'm in now <clears throat> with the junior high here. I still have great friends here, you know, and I found this cheap apartment i mean it's cheap but it's small it's literally like two rooms i got like a living room you know areas my couch my bed whatever then i have a kitchen that's about it it's a it's a house that's split into like three apartments and it's an old house it looks like a haunted house it's like a a, it was built during the civil war i mean uh it's uh but hey so i went from I mean, I had for LA, I had a lot of space. I had, I had my own driveway. Now there's only one driveway, and the dude that lives next to me, he can use it. And I park on the street, which I don't like. I don't like street parking. And I don't have a backyard that my dog's out in. I had a two bedroom house in LA that I've been there for, had at least for like six years. So it's a little bit of adjustment. Like this morning, I have to get up to walk my dog. Like, oh, damn. You know. Um, but yeah, it's in this town, there's nothing really to do. As far as like, I guess anything, um, <laughs> like the town has shrunk too. It wasn't like what I remember. I thought it would be, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot more going on, but no. <clears throat> nope. Kind of slow. Uh, but I'm older now. I'm not like out and about gallivanting. You know, I'm not a, you know, wild man, L.A. That's that's what the, those days are over with. And it's kind of quaint. Farmers. Uh, a lot of farmers. And um, but I used to, you know, when I lived back in the day when I was in my band, I played all over 
uh, Illinois. I mean everywhere. Uh, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin. But the town I'm in now, back in the day, like the early 90s, I did like two radio interviews at the radio station out here. Um, promote my band. You know, going in there, hey, we're playing tonight somewhere where we're playing. Uh, and I was like in my early 20s. And I remember one we played here one night. I, I did the radio interview. Then I went to the gig, did the sound check. And then dude doing the door was like one of my friends from junior high. I hadn't seen in like, you know, 10 years or something. Like, hey. <clears throat> um, and I thought that I knew a lot of people around here, you know. But, but people like move on. They get married. They have kids. They're not, you know. I thought I knew a bunch of people. I guess I don't. Yeah, my social life's kind of, you know, in California, you kind of know everybody. It's not like you have all these friends. It's just that you know everybody. You know, I mean, shit. Um, but I needed it. I needed it. I had just, uh, you know, I, I I told this story where I got jumped by three gangbangers on Hollywood Boulevard, and I, I got a head, neck, and back injury. Um, so I did like a year therapy so I needed somewhere to go just to kind of like, I was still recuperating, you know, I kind of still am. I'm still all kind of uh, stiff and, <clears throat> you know, uh, so I needed a place, of course, my own place that I could like just kind of chill, you know, and, uh, Western we waxation kind of thing, you know, just, uh, away from the city lights, you know, just, you know, I needed somewhere to just kind of, decompress and but um you know the uh there's great you know there, there's, you gotta look at the bright side you know like okay there's great food there's uh around here um and uh cheap rent i got this cheap you know it's small but it's cheap and um you know i can have my dogs and um but what i like to do like flip cars and and guitars there's not much of that around there's uh, uh i was trying to sell my car I have a Mercedes. I was trying to sell it to like the big Ray guys. Like, hey, you guys want to buy a Mercedes? Because I want to get something. I want to blend in more. I still have like my California plates. I need to change them. Um, I want like a van because I'm going to start gigging again, either doing solo gigs, whatever I got to do. I miss playing. So I, I need something bigger. I need like a minivan or a van or an SUV or some truck. I don't care. But, you know, I have a, a Mercedes uh, C230, which is like the smaller one. Um, Great car. It's just there's no room. Like, like I could never fit. I've never sat in the back seat of my car. I'm six two. I can't get huh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and, and selling guitars. I mean, nobody's around. One of the trick or treaters list. I met some of the neighbors, and her grandson. He play. He plays guitar. Can you give me lessons? I was like, well, I don't give lessons anymore, but I can give you a little pointer. I got an acoustic. I was like, well, hey, you're gonna get an acoustic, then another acoustic. That's what you should do. And then move on to electric and you'll get there. And I try to explain to the, <clears throat> the roadmap of guitar success, you know, I might give them a little, uh, you know, a few things. You teach them a few, a couple more bar chords. Or whatever. Um, and it was fun last night. I mean, Halloween. I was given this bottle of wine, like this little bottle of wine. So I'm kind of, I'm not hungover. I just feel like kind of tired. When you mix like beer and wine, because I have some beers, like I'm just kind of uh, yeah. again not hungover, not like nauseous or you know just like damn I need a nap. Uh, but yeah, I had a great uh, time last night. I love Halloween. Um, it was kind of rainy and it, you know uh, overcast this that, yeah. but it's been a good weekend. I mean the Delphi rest that's been awesome. Um, I did a video. You can go check that out. I've done multiple videos on. And I'm close to like 200 videos. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to hit the 200 mark. Because I've been doing this every day. I haven't missed a day in like six months, maybe. When I first started my uh, podcast, I got the flu. And I took like one or two days off. But since then, bam, just blowing through. And it's tough because you got to rearrange your life and. You know, uh, I like to get like a schedule. I like to do it usually in the morning. I might start doing night because uh, I thought I'd be a night podcast with like cool lights. And, <clears throat> but 
I had heard that they, you know, will promote you more if there's a an, in the morning because there's an algorithm that picks up on that. I forgot where I, I read that or heard that, but I don't think so. And of course, I'm smoking. I'm cursing. Look how haggard I am. Old. Oh, I'm not that cool. <laughs> I have no talent. I'm ugly. I got a bad attitude. It, it, you know, so it's like, you know, I get that. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and I'll, 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 quite honestly, no one is really watching my podcast. I mean, it's not like, you know, uh, <laughs> but that's how it always starts when I do something like with a band. Or my art shows, or my acting, or my painting show, whatever, uh, anything I've done, it, t- it takes about a year to kind of kick in, you know. It takes time. Um, of course, I want to do more. I want to go out and about. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe if you want to support the channel. The information is in the description for Zell because I need better equipment. I want to go out and about. I want to be a uh, you know, doing things. I don't know if you guys know, it's called California Gold was the show. It's Huel Hauser. I used to watch Huel Hauser. I loved Huel. He was also from Tennessee. He was out in California doing, you know, California Gold. Huel Hauser. And he's walking around interviewing people. And just, um, that's what I kind of want to do. I want to just um, get out and do stuff. I want to like, hey, you know, I love watching like people. Think, I work here at the graveyard. Yeah, that's what I'm. Um, I'd like to, uh, I was talking with Scotty beers. He's the host of my cooking show. He, we, we were like, man, we need to like get, uh, find like a paranormal group and do like a podcast with them. A ghost hunting group, UFO, whatever, Bigfoot. I don't know. Uh, and, uh, just get out and about mingle, shoot more content. So that's my plan. Um, I was only going to be here in Illinois for like three or four months. And then I was going to mosey on, you know, but, uh, it's, it's good here. You know, I had, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a slower pace for sure, but you know, I, I needed somewhere so I could honestly start my podcast on the, you know, get, get a you know, place I can afford, do your podcast. Away from the distractions. Um, Because it's loud. I mean, my house in L.A., I was in, like, there was three houses on the the lot. I was in the back house. So in the front of the street, you couldn't even see my house. And then my, I I had a yard. It was all fenced, but it was in an alley. See, they always have this alleys between, you know, and uh, loud. And there's always people in the alley. And it's, you know, L.A. is just loud. And then I lived about mm, maybe a mile from the Arboretum, which is where they shot it, 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 in Arcadia, the Arboretum. They shot like the Black Return, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Gilligan's Island, you know, Fantasy Island. Anytime you see, that's where they shoot it. It's like a lake kind of thing they have there. And there's peacocks at the Arboretum. Well, they get out and they, you know, I don't think they can fly that far anyway, but they're all over and they're breeding and they're loud. Uh, you don't believe I just what you know? I mean, loud sounds like they're going through like an amp, like a, a PA, you know. And of course, they fight. Well, my Mercedes, I have, I have like a little uh dent, it's like the weirdest thing. It looks like it's something hit like a, like a big BB or something, like a little not a hole, but a little dent. I was sitting there, I had my door open, and I saw the peacock, and I had uh, my screen doors open so I could see him. And I'm talking about the males are the ones with the big, you know, tails, you know. And he came up and I was like, hey, you know, get away. He saw my, his reflection in my car as I'm chasing him away. He kind of turned and saw it. And I get, he thought it was another bird. He just, you know, get away. <laughs> Trying to chase him. And he was just running around my car. They, they will leave you alone. Again, if they're around their babies and mama, you know, they, you don't want to mess with them. But, um. Uh, and they're everywhere <clears throat> in Arcadia. It's kind of cool when you see them, especially when they got the thing up and, you know, it's kind of, you know, like, oh, wow. And you see little babies with the mama, like, that's cool. But, man, if you're, like, hung over or something, you, you know, one of them's on your shed in the back. It's rah, like screaming like crazy. I don't know, mating call, whatever they do. It's, it's the craziest sound you've ever heard. And it's loud. 
And somehow they kind of always know when you need sleep or you're hungover, you're sick. And here they come, like squawking, like, why? Do they, they never do it. <clears throat> Again, every day they would uh, be around. Um, so there's certain things I'm going to miss about Arcadia Park, the park in Arcadia. I used to love to walk. I'd walk that like every morning. Saw some weird stuff in that park, man. Uh, I've told this before, but I saw like a, some strange stuff. And then after I saw it, the 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 groundskeepers, you know, they, they had their little like golf carts or whatever driving around. This is a big park. Came up to me and be like, hey, man, you ever see anything? I'm like, man, what do you guys know? You tell me, I'll tell. And I, gonna... <clears throat> and I did tell them. And then they kind of just walked away and never talked to me. Huh? I saw a lot of weird paranormal stuff in L.A. You wouldn't think a city. But, man, I saw everything. I saw one of those night crawlers or whatever they call it. This little thing, glowing kind of alien looking thing. I saw what I guess it was a dog man or, or dog woman. It was a female. And I wasn't the only one that I, I'm not the only one that saw it. And I did a, a podcast about that. You can go through my videos and I think it's called Dog Man Arcadia. Um, strange. Had this big, weird smile on its face with these teeth. Like, what in the hell? Bobbing and then gone. Like it was there and boom, gone. I was looking around. There was a bunch of people. One girl was filming it, but I she spoke Mandarin. She was Chinese, so I didn't know. I was like, hey, hey, and she said, no. And my dogs were freaking out, and I was like, okay, I'm gone. Um, around here, I was walking back from Scotty Beers, because Scotty Beers lives like right, you know, a couple blocks away. I was walking home one night, and uh, I saw like a, I don't even, a meteor, like it just happened so fast. I looked over my, and this thing was on fire, then it burned out. Then I could see like this black, um, probably the size of, it had to be like the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bigger, maybe a baseball. But it went over and then it landed. There's a park near me and it landed and it hit. Like, I heard it hit. Like, thump. And I went over there and I was like, maybe I should go dig that. But then again, I, I remember that on, in Creep Show <laughs> where that guy touches, I think it was Stephen King who played that character, where he touched it and he got in. No. Um, and I was walking this park for a while, but um, I need to start walking again. Usually I walk like every day, but uh, there's some sketchy people in the park. And I know it's like you just came from L.A. There's sketchy people, but there's I don't know. There's like a um, it's kind of a strange park. Um, and I do walk my dog. So don't get me wrong. I'm walking. Well, my one dog again, my right for Mr. Simon. He passed. Uh and uh, yeah, last month was kind of brutal. You know, again, I did it every day. Dogs die. Uh huh. No, go, go, go. Just push, go, keep on. That's all I know how to do. Uh, you know, I don't have any family or anything. I'm, 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 I'm not married. I have a dog. And uh, to, to keep on doing what you're going to do. That's what I do. I don't think I know how to do anything else. Uh, and I don't even know how long I'm going to be in Illinois. I've been thinking like, well, should I? Because I'm originally from Tennessee. I miss Tennessee. I used to live in Florida. It's cold in all of this weather. I mean, I had to, again, I had to, yesterday I had to winterize my car. Um, and uh, it rains a lot here. There's really no arts. Like I just told my, my I've been, I've been in this apartment maybe eight months, maybe. I've been and I just, when I, my neighbors, I just told them about my podcast. Like, hey, I got a podcast. Because I kind of keep to myself. Uh, I'm not out, like, you know. I used to be more of a social butterfly, if you will. But um, the older I get, it's just like, well, I mean, I'm in my 50s. You know, how many more, you know. Uh, but I like my neighbors. You know, they're cool. And we help each other out. Like, I give people rides. I <laughs> let them borrow toilet paper. Um, uh, one of them, one of them brought me a damn good pizza the other night. Uh, they work at the pizza place and man, he loaded, do you want a pizza? Of course I do. Do I, what do you mean? Do I like pizza? Huh? Who doesn't like pizza? <clears throat> Thin crust had bacon on it and onions and it was, dude, thank you. And he wants to be on the podcast. Somehow we're going to figure out how to. 
I've been trying to get Scotty Beers to uh, – he's he's busier. Than, he's got other things going on, so I, I get it. We're trying to wrangle him. We were supposed to do uh, the gorilla suit story the other day, and then we had to postpone it. Stuff comes up, you know, life. And I already went live that day. And he's not really into podcasting. I mean, we'll do the cooking with Scotty Beers. We got to, we need to do another one. He just got a new air fryer, which is amazing. Um, looks like R2D2 or something, uh, like a silver R2D. Uh, so, yeah, all that's going to be coming down the pipe. Uh, again, I want to get out and do more. I think I could probably live stream on my phone, but man, my phone is just, it, it's shit. Uh, Pictures look horrible. I don't know. I don't know how the microphone is. I need to get a better phone. Again, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, it's in the description. For up. And I've never had anybody. I don't even know how that works. But I, they told me, yeah, you just need your email. I guess so. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Illinois. Comment below. Anybody else in Illinois? Uh, and where in Illinois? Uh, <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, it's it could be worse. But I'm thinking about getting some. You know, if I, Tennessee, it's not as cold. Florida, of course, it's not as cold. Uh, but I don't know how long, much longer I'm going to be in Illinois. Again, it was perfect for what I needed. I thought it was only going to be here like three or four months. Then I've doubled that. You know, because you kind of get like you know you, just, you get settled in, and then you you meet people, and you're like, hey. Um, and I like people around here. Now there's certain people around here that are, you know, it's shocking how people, but that's everywhere. You know, you're going to run into, they're in a place you can go. I don't think that there aren't, you know, uh, people like, you know, just chugging Mountain Dew and eating Skittles and I don't drink water. I guess not. I mean, all cankled up, uh, bless their heart. Yeah, perfect for me to be like away from distractions. Um, not as much noise. You know, there's a lot of noise in Los Angeles. I mean, it's just constant. And the stuff that you hear and just there's, ah, 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 you just, ah, ah, huh? I get used to it. And the craziness, there's always some kind of fight in a grocery store or, you know, I can't tell you how many times. I literally like to set my basket down and left the grocery store. Like, not again. I don't want doesn't fight. Uh, all the time. Sometimes it's like women pushing strollers. I don't know. They bump strollers. Ah, da, 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 the next thing you know. I am missing like the 99 cent store in LA. They have these 99 cent stores. Some of them are huge. It's like a grocery store. And everything used to be 99 cents, but they freak, you know, how things are. But, uh, you know, in the fruit and the vegetables that are on the cheap in California. I love avocados. I love guacamole. Uh, I make really good guacamole. It's literally like avocados, lemon juice, and salt. Bam, boom, done. Making my own uh, tortilla chips. Just get, like, yellow corn tortilla, cut them, and bam, fry them, and there you go. So I, I, I miss that because I avocados are everywhere in California. They damn near will give them to you. So I always had like a big mess of avoc uh, guacamole and I always had like cut up melon because they're cheap. I could get like a melon, you know, all kinds of melon and, and stuff you don't even know. Like, what is this? And just try it. And so I always had a bowl of that. Um, uh, my old roommate, when I left, he loved like bacon, avocado and tomato sandwiches. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll try one of those. And they were awesome. So I always had, you know, and of course, I, I'm, I'm, I'm basically, my diet is a macrobiotic. You can look into that. Mostly rice and beans, not too much meat, vegetables, but basically rice and beans. And how I found out about the macrobi uh, macrobiotic diet was I, was I was reading Iggy Pop's book, like 20 years ago. I was like, how does he look all kind of, he's older. And how, how did he survive? He talks about the macrobiotic diet. The hippies used to do it. And uh, I always like to, when I get done with this, I'm going to be making some rice and vegetables. And um, I eat a lot of rice, beans. Scotty Beers is like, dude, you eat the most beans. I mean, but hey, um, 
keeps me svelte. You know, I'm in shape. A uh, little bit. I've gained a little bit of weight since I've got because, man, it's just the food. There's just not, uh, you know, <laughs> there's not enough fruit around here. I mean, it's Illinois. And the corn, we're surrounded by all this corn. I found out that that's for ethanol. They don't grow sweet corn like they used to. The money's in ethanol, you know. So I forgot what kind of corn. You can't just, you know, we used to be, we used to just go steal corn as kids or teenagers. Right? Can't do that with this corn. And I was thinking like, man, this corn looks haggard. What is it? Like, oh, it's ethanol corn. You can't. And Scotty and I were driving around. There's a lake around here. And uh, it was like a couple weeks back. You know, just driving through, you know, the country, the corn. And, man, we saw so many deers. And I guess deer season's coming up. There's all these pe people fly in from other states to, and will stay, like, in a motel to hunt for deer. And there's a bunch of them. I mean, I just couldn't believe how they, they were like, huh, what? It's like, you need to move out of the way when you drive. But then they would stop and look, and they were pretty. I mean, uh, how many did we see? Like, in, like, a five-minute period, I think we saw, like, 12 deer. Um, so that's stuff I like. I like that, you know, uh, and there's fishing to do, even though we haven't fished. We're like, we're going to be fishing. We haven't fished. Because um, what we'll do, <laughs> we'll just get beers and just like, oh, well, we're already, you know. Of course, we watch the MMA fight, the UFC. We always get together. We live stream one of them. It's horrible. I should probably even take that down. Uh, that's when I first started, before I got my rhythm going and, you know. Um, but yeah, that wine last night, I'm kind of just like slow today. I'm just kind of, well, see, not hungover, but just kind of need a nap, maybe, perhaps. But it's a sunny day. I'm going to go out and run errands and hang out with my dog. We think she's fair faucet. Um, and it's been rough on her. You know, she we lost Mr. Simon. So... You know, that was her buddy. So she's been like more needy. I mean, for one, she's a lap dog. I, I and I, I uh, adopted her, saved her. Uh, she was found in Compton. I found her on Craigslist. I was like, oh, damn. I just typed in free dog. She was the first one. Huh? Okay. I've never had like a little dog. And guess what? If you're wanting a dog and you're wanting to get a lap dog, it's there a little bit more. She's still, she's still climb all over you um, constantly. Sometimes it's like an eight-hour shift. Like, okay, fine. You got to get your head. <laughs> Give me a breather. And then if someone else comes up, then she does it to them. She's, just, you know, nonstop. And she's 10. She still acts like a puppy, which is good, you know. But this past month, I mean, before Simon died, he was 18. He wasn't doing good. Uh, he had to go to the bathroom like every three or four hours. So I didn't sleep that. I'm finally getting back in my sleep because he would get me up. And uh, sometimes he bark, bark, you know. and every at the end there he was sick, so it was almost like I was a, a nurse for him. So this month has been, uh, you know, uh, tough. I'm mourning my dog. I mean, they're like they become like family. If you're not a dog person, I don't know if you get it, but man, it's like my dog. He was my, and I I didn't think you know he someone left him. They're like, well, yeah, I got, they're gonna take him to the pound. I was like, no, nah, man, you can't. I'll keep him. And he was so mean. I couldn't even pet him then. I had him for like two months before I even petted. He was all grouchy. And I just, you know, you get Pringles and dog snacks and <clears throat> sweet talk him. And finally he, he became a really great dog. And I don't believe on like giving up on dogs or animals or people, you know, everybody has, you know, their little problems. Um, you got to hang in there with people. But yeah, you know, you have a, you know, I had a rough month. What are you going to do? You just go through it. November, Thanksgiving's coming up. Then it'll be Christmas, you know. Um, but I am contemplating, like, where is my next? Because, I again, I didn't think I'd stay here this long. I thought I'd be like, okay, here, and then I'll hit this, hit, and the other. And basically because of the weather. Cause this, this, this rain and cold, like, you know, and I got a, a neck and back injury. So it's just like, Oh, you know, um, like it's hard for me to like turn my neck, you know, and if I do it too fast, it's 
I might go to a, a warmer climate. I mean, I do miss California. I mean, I was there for 24 years, but uh, uh, too expensive, dangerous. By the time I left, it was just bad. the week I left, they fired like 4,000 deputies. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm not well either. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I uh, it's just too much. The traffic and the, but I have a, I've written scripts in the past. And I have a producer who uh, I've known since the, the 90s. And we used to pitch it and all this other stuff. His son is an actor that's coming up. And um, doing well. <clears throat> He's in a lot of movies. Uh, so uh, they, he, he did a rewrite on my script. And kind of like, you know, punched it up. And so he still, you know, if we could option, I might go back for uh, a bit if we hopefully just when it's in pre-production or whatever. But you never know what that you mean shit. It could be, it could might it might not happen. Um, but uh yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna be how much longer I'm being in Illinois. You never know. But again, on the horizon, gigs, I feel like playing just me solo. I have enough, like my own songs, I could do probably an hour. Covers, I know so many covers, but I have to get back into the rhythm of like rehearsing. I mean, I couldn't, I'm not ready to be gigging right now. I'd have to give myself about a, six weeks just to practice, you know, three or four times a week, maybe every day. Uh, and I might put a little band together, but then again, it's like, oh man, you, bands are tough to, you know, but we shall see. Again, I do this every day. I'll be up tomorrow, ranting and raving. And again, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, it's in the description for Zell. <clears throat> I love y'all. Be here tomorrow. Be blessed. Cheers. <laughs>